Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Carboy Lawn Boy. This is gonna be a quick how-to video on how to upgrade your um, dome light um, on the Rangers, on the older ones anyway, as far as I know, all of them. But all three lights come on when you open up the door, and it's very blinding at night because the map lights are very bright. Um, so that will show you how I upgraded my uh, dome light to make it to where only the center light comes on when you open up the door. As you can see, mine only has the center light that comes on, which is more than plain to light up at night. And then you can still have your map light separately. It's set up much like a much like a Ford Explorer. It's just sitting up in there, so I will. Um, I'm holding up my hand right now to show you guys. But um, so pretty much, hope you guys can see this. When you pull your lens off, mine mine fell apart. So it's you'll get something that looks much like this. What you're going to want to do is you want to pull these three screws out. Now each of these screws <clears throat> actually serves a purpose as the terminal. There is no wires in this unit. This is the ground, this is the dome light itself, and this is 12 volts for the map lights. So be very careful when you pull these apart to not let your screwdriver touch <clears throat> either side of this light bulb contacts or any other part metal part inside of the housing. This is plastic so you don't have to worry about that. But do you watch out for these terminals, I'll warn you. It, or if you don't feel safe doing it, then just unhook the battery on the truck. It'll make it a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these three screws out, and then I will uh, show you what I did. Alright, All right, when you get it apart, you'll see a part that looks like this. You'll see that there's no wires attached. It uses, like I said before, the three screw holes um, to power the unit. Kind of scary, but it works just fine. They use them on all the uh, 90s Fords. So, I went ahead and removed the light bulbs, and I thought I'd give you guys the, guys the model numbers of the light bulbs. So, the little tube-shaped fuse-looking one is model number 212 or 211-2. Um, they use these in most of the Ford trucks, Explorers, etc. Some of the Mustangs, I believe, have them. And then the map lights, also in the Explorer, um, are model number 912. Let's pick those up at AutoZone, Advanced, wherever you need to go. Um, I will say these are very, very bright. So if you do have the original light set up in your truck and you do not do the upgrade that I'm about to show you, I would not recommend getting these bulbs. I'd recommend using a light bulb out of like a gauge cluster or something that isn't very super bright. So I'll take this in the house and I'll show you guys how you can break this apart and actually do the modification. Okay, to get one of these apart, you'll notice that there's four little joints of plastic solder looking stuff. Um, what you're going to need to do is take a soldering iron or a nail, heat it up or whatever, whatever you need to do. Um, you're just going to heat up those little beads of solder or geez, beads of plastic and um, you can just pull on it and it'll eventually pop loose. Um, carefully remove it because there is this switch in here that will fall out. Um, but then you can see the works of the light and all the little pieces of brass or whatever that's made out of that runs. So, now the actual modification. Okay, now what you're going to want to do to make the map lights not come on when the door opens is track down the ribbon metal piece, whatever, that powers it. And on this one, so I can get this to focus. Come on, focus. Okay. Um, you guys kind of see it. There's this little metal rod here. This is the dome light power source. And you can see that it runs up over the power to light. Okay, I'm going to try to wipe my camera off quick. A little bit better. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Sometimes that actually does it. Yep. Um, so what you're going to want to do is right in this area it's got like a little ribbon that runs over. You can see I already cut it. Um, 
guess it's really hard to do. In between here and here, right where the screwdriver is, there was a little piece of metal there that looks just like this. What you're going to want to do is you can take an angle grinder, <laughs> very simply, lay it down in there, get it set exactly where you want it to be, and just turn it on and cut it. Don't cut down too far. This plastic is very thin, but it will, in fact, remove that little ribbon. You can kind of see the remainings of it. It'll cut that right off there, and that will allow it to no longer give power to the map lights when the door is opened. Okay, and I'd recommend while it's all apart to go ahead and just scrub everything down in the sink. I got this really clean, and obviously clean the lens, but be careful with the lens. You don't want to wash it very hot water. It could possibly crack or melt a little bit, so. You can obviously clean the little switch up. You have some gunk on it, but do not clean the circuit board, obviously. That would... It would probably be okay, but I could see the switch and stuff possibly getting a little corroded, so it's just a recommendation. When you put this back together, I would recommend starting off everything laid out flat like this, and your little switch, so you can see that little groove in there, they very simply will just sit in there, much like that, it's got the little cylinder piece to kind of, it, it'll all lay flat really smoothly. And then see your little chrome piece reflector over top. It's very hard to do with one hand. I'll go ahead and get it set up and then, yeah. All right, we got all pop that together. If you um, don't melt a whole lot off with it in the beginning, you should be able to kind of pop it back in place. You can see how it's all four studs are back in. So uh, I have a little bit of Gorilla Glue here, super glue. I was gonna put a couple drops on it on the bottom side. I'll let that dry and then I'll also take the soldering iron and I'll um, try to re-melt these little dots back over it, kind of make a nice little bead that should hold it together well when I put it back in the truck. So. Alright, and just like that I got it all nice and globbed up on there, so I should be ready to put the uh, assembly back in the truck. Just like that, it's back in the truck, got the three screws in. One thing I have to say is make sure you do not cross thread any of these. Make sure they thread very easily because you have that little plastic clip and it will break. Um, when you install the light bulbs, just make sure they're flat, don't force them, they'll just kind of pop in place. As far as the map lights go, it's a little loose, but it fits. And then the um, circular one, this one is actually a one way only, so make sure it's facing up and down when the boat goes in. Just like that, that's in. Go ahead and test it, make sure it works. Left side, passenger side. Hit that. Got the center only, so I would say that worked. And then you put the lens on. It's easy to see you start front and kind of hinge it up onto the back so it doesn't break anything. And now when you open the door, center only, and you still have your map lights. And that is an upgrade on a 95, or I would say, I believe it's 94 through <clears throat> 98 that use this style dome light. It could be a lot newer too. I think they, they might have done it all the way up to 04 or something like that. But um, as far as the basic three bulb all the time, Every time you open the door, that is the way you delete the um, the two outer ones when you open the door. So you still have your map lights. They're really, really bright. Um, but you um, still have your dome light in the center, which is how most cars are. I don't understand why they just decide on the Ranger to make them all three come on. Um, also, if you wanted to play it easier, you could easily, easily just buy a lower wattage bulb for the map lights and that would make it a lot dimmer in here but then you wouldn't have the bright map lights if you needed those to see something but like I say that's that's really really nice <laughs> so I would thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this will help you or be a nice little upgrade for your truck I think it's awesome for mine um, I'd recommend doing it because it's very very simple to do I'd say it took me a total maybe 15 minutes to do it, including cleaning all the parts up and waiting for the super glue to dry. So, I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.